and chill. We're going to start with our pelvis stacked. We don't want a lot of rocking back and forth as we do this. And we're going to start with the feet on top of each other. For our knee position, uh, ideally we want to have about a 90 degree angle to start. That's kind of like our centrated ideal position and kind of starting for most people. We can adjust that up and down as needed to try and get more of the back hip activation we're going for. So when we start into this, it's body stacked, feet together, and we want to have just the top leg lift up and down. One of the prompts that I like to give this is think of like an outward spiral. It's almost like the leg is twisting out a little bit as you come up and down. Sometimes that helps grab a little more push to your hip, which is what we're targeting. If this starts to feel like I'm not feeling it, we can bring the knees a little bit higher. See, does that start to zone into where we want to get the contraction in the, in the posterior hip? We have to bring it down a little bit, a little different for everybody. So in that first sequence, if we can get a good contraction and we're feeling it, we can start to drop the knees down over time until they're more in line with the body for more extended hip. When it starts to get easier, we can also straighten the lower leg to get more of a crease into the adduction, to get a little more load across the back of the hip to dig into it. If we have trouble feeling that, a couple modifications would be the top hand, and basically push down into the ground. You want to feel a wrap from your shoulder blade across your obliques into the bottom hip. You get a little extra pelvic stability and core stability. If we then go into the clamshell, and feel a little extra contraction on the backside hip, that extra grab from the midsection will give us a better platform to get what we want. The alternate version of that, which requires a band, is our arm stepping version. For this, this can either be on the radial stylo here, in the hand or grabbing, whichever works best. So we go to that same clamshell position and pull forward into the band, almost like we're stepping, like swinging forward with the arm as the leg would be stepping back with the hip extending. So we come forward with the arm a little bit as we're stabilized and do that same clamshell motion. Up and down, feels easy, straight the lower leg, get a little bit more, a little more movement out of it. As we feel this tension kind of wrapping across the middle from the arm pressing forward and then the band kind of pull us backwards. So those are the major variations of the clam show we're going to work with today. Uh, whichever one works best for you. The angling of the hip up and down can be vital. And uh, we want to feel that in the backside hip. We don't want to feel too much compensation into the front of the hip, especially more Latin thigh or hamstring. And we don't want any rocking back and forth of the pelvis, which would show we're trying to grab a little extra recruitment out of our lower back and try and get the job done.